Hi, Sarah here with the start of my December daily album. I'm doing some foundation pages. I know it is very late. I did actually film this a while ago, but um, such is life. I don't really have that much spare time. Um, what I'm doing is following the Ali Edwards product play to kickstart um, my creativity, I suppose. So I will link um, the... Um, I'll link the tutorial um, that you can purchase below in case you want to go and check that out yourself. So for my first page I'm grabbing some vellum, I'm adding on these little triangles to form a heart and that will make the make up the main part of this um, page. I'm not going to number them or um, decide precisely what I want to do with each one. There'll be some pages that I have a good idea of, other pages will just be random and it'll just depend on what photos look best with what. Um, so I've laid out lots of the little squares from the Santa Baby paper collection there. It's the smaller 6x6 six six pad so the design's nice and small to use. And then I'm just eyeballing this and just sticking them down in that heart shape. I don't think I make you watch all of them. No, thank goodness. There we go. So I've got that stuck down. I'm not fussed at all about it being perfectly even. That's not really something that really bothers me. And now I'm just adding a couple of strips. I'm going to use these strips of paper as you would washi and just add them to the bottom as well. Just to balance the heart so that the heart doesn't look like it's too far up the page. And just to kind of ground it a little. Um, I'm also going to be using this beautiful butterfly vellum throughout and cutting out little butterflies and um, in Ali Edwards product play each year she has like a focus on different shapes um, so this year's triangles and I thought it'd be a nice idea and then she kind of has that throughout the album so I thought it'd be a nice idea to have something throughout my album and I decided that I want to put those butterflies that continue all the way through the album as well as using the same paper collection to tie everything together no matter what photos and how random things are on each day that should tie it all in nicely I've also decided to add this piece of packaging here I think it's like one of them little mini like a mini goodie bag type thing I think it came in one of them um, one of my like little um, box um, subscription boxes with some little um, goodies in it so I've decided to trim off the sticky bit of the top and glue that to the back of there and that's where I will put my journaling um, now I'm moving on for now to a second page and I'm going to create a Christmas tree um, again using triangles there and um, so all I do is find the centre of the, this piece of paper and then trim from the centre out to each corner and voila we have a Christmas tree and it's too long for my page so I um, work out how far down I want it to go and then I'll just trim it off I'm trying to aim for trimming it so that it's trimming through the metallic rather than the pale bit just so that it frames it better and it doesn't blend into the background and I'm also now trimming down um, a page that's going to be the size of the page protectors because some are going to be in the protectors, some are going to be out and this one is going to be out of the protectors so I am trimmed that to the right size. I'm now going to add some mixed media because I do like my mixed media and I also wanted to tone out this uh, paper around the edge just to add a little something different to the page. I didn't just want to leave my pages plain I do like to use a lot of paint so I'm using some distress oxides now this looks quite vibrant but with distress oxides once you spread them around a bit add a bit of water this is like a re-inker rather than the ink pads and dab up some of the color you end up with a real once it dries as well it goes a really lovely soft chalky pastely sort of shade as you can see look it started off so vibrant and then now that I've spread it out and put it over the over the um, gesso you get a really nice pale colour and now as well as that I'm going to use some of my little rainbow moon um, paints this is a little independent company that makes handmade watercolours in the UK so I will link her shop below in case you want to go over and support her um, and 
I'm just adding some splashes of metallic in a pinky, a rose gold coppery and a pale gold. Just adding a few splashes, they work, the colours work really nicely with the metallic red, pinkish red in the um, papers, in the Prima papers as well. And now I'm just going to add a brad, this is going to be like my mechanism that turns the turns the tree to one side so you can see what's underneath it and I just used a random bit of foam that I don't know don't even know what it was from <laughs> just to pop a hole in there and then I've added a brad and then now I'm adding a star on top and then I'll just let that dry to one side using some um, Nouveau drops it's the same as glossy accents that kind of glue now I wanted to tone down those colours and add a bit of a snowy splashy look so I've added a little bit of white to the background as well and now that my um, brad is dry I can fix that on and as you can see now I've got that that can move to one side and then now all I have to do is choose whether I want to add a shaped photo behind that or add my journaling there and add my photo on say the opposite page so that is another page done now as you may have noticed the, I've, I've been doing like the feature pages there'll be more like normal photograph pages in between as well and that's my cover if you want to see that you'll have to look at last year's where I started this album and failed all I've done is added those that 20 to the end to turn it into 2020 and then I also add these butterflies which as I say I wanted to include throughout the album but for the full video off that cover um, I will link it below if you do want to have a look at that as well now I'm adding this journaling card it's going to be I think I turn it into a tag or just a little journal card to add at the back which I can write my journaling for that page on and think yeah I add some ephemera pieces as well to my Christmas tree and um, page so I'm just sticking on a few making sure that it doesn't interfere with the movement off the Christmas tree adding a cup these are all from the same collection the Santa baby from that I got from Thompson's craft supplies and checking that it moves fine and doesn't get caught I've taken a tiny um, strip of word sticker there and added that below as well as some washi that I'm adding and um, top and bottom as well again from the same collection apologies if you can hear banging about um, be my little boy walking around um, and I'm just trimming off the edges there and now I'm just adding some glue and adding on my little butterfly to that page and a glitter snowflake I'm also just writing a quick note of what idea I have for what I want to put on the back of that page just a little note to myself just so that if I'm like oh what did I plan for this it's right there on the post-it ready for me and now moving on to my next page this is again um, inspired by the product play and I'm creating a window type thing um, so that the flaps open up to reveal the part underneath so for this one because it again it it moves I'm adding my paper to the middle then adding these triangles to either side so I'm just using washi um, like you would do for a journaling tip in and just trimming it off so there's washi on both sides so as it opens and moves then you've got a full washi on either side no sticky bits or backs of anything and again doing the same with the other side sticking washi on either part and checking that it folds nicely in and now I'm again trimming out some um, off those strips of pattern paper and this time I'm using them to create a top and bottom border to this page 
just to kind of frame it and um there is a little bit of white showing but as well as that i feel it draws your eye into the middle because it is quite a busy paper but by framing it with the same kind of paper it sort of draws your eye in i'm also taking these cork hearts on one side they're cork and gold with gold flexing and then the other side they're adhesive so all i've done is taken some glitter which i think i got from mine the scrap and literally just poured the glitter on the reverse of these hearts and then i can choose which side to use now because once the glitter's on them now they're not sticky anymore so i'll just use them throughout my album again just to help tie everything in together and as you can see i've created a pocket there at the back because i didn't glue down the paper at the top so that i can add a tag as you can see there so I'll be able to add some journaling or a photo to that, to that depending on which way around I want to do it. So I just mark the center, take a brad, I've taken one of them chunky We Are Memory Keeper brads there and I used a soft gold color which I felt went nicely with the vellum that's spotty gold there. And now I'm just using a little bit of red glittered ribbon because there is some red glitter in my album but it is mainly pink use but I wanted to make sure I kept adding a little bit of that bright red throughout the album to again just to help things tie in together and I'm just adding the holes and that is another page done as well so that is all I've done so far please do go and check out the Ali Edwards um, downloadable classes. They are absolutely brilliant if you're a bit stuck and want to get started with your December daily. I will link the class, this specific class below for you. And I hope you join me for the next one. See you in the next video. Bye.